In this tutorial, we'll go over the offline export feature available on MediaZilla. This allows you to export any of your collections as a desktop application for both Windows and Mac that you can run on your own computer or deliver to someone else on a USB drive or Dropbox, Google Drive, etc. It functions completely offline and does not require any internet connection to run. Let's start by showing you how easy it is to create. From your dashboard, just click on the title of the collection you want to export and select Export Offline. This will open a window that displays the status of the build process and allows you to start the build. Just click Build Now. You will see the status has changed to Processing. It also provides you with an estimate of how long it will take to complete. This one here says 19 minutes. While you wait for it to finish building, this is a great time to review the instructions to avoid any issues during the download or extraction process. But in this video, we'll cover everything you need to know. Once it finishes, you'll receive an email that it's ready to download. You will also see the status change to Available for Download. Now, before you download, there are some important things you need to know if you are on a Mac computer. So let's cover those first. If you are using Chrome or Firefox, you don't need to change any settings. Just go ahead and download it. But if you are downloading with Safari and using Mac OS Mojave or older, you will need to change a setting in the preferences to prevent it from automatically extracting the zip file after it downloads. To do that, go to Preferences, General, then uncheck Open Safe Files after downloading. You need to do this because up until Mac OS Catalina, there was a bug with Archive Utility, which is the default zip extraction tool, where it would create corrupt files if any of the files inside the zip were over 4 gigabytes. Once you change that setting, you can download the file normally. If you're on Windows, there are no issues you have to worry about. Just download it normally, right click, then extract all. As I mentioned, if you're on Mojave or older, you don't want to extract the zip file using Archive Utility. So if you are on one of those older Mac OS versions, be sure to install the free app called the Unarchiver. We provide a link to it in our help center. Then you can right click, open with the Unarchiver. If you're using Catalina or newer, you can definitely use the default Archive Utility app to extract it. Whether you're delivering the offline export to a client or trying it out for yourself, be sure to extract all the contents of the zip archive. It needs to be extracted for it to work properly when you open it, and if you extract it before giving it to someone, they don't have to worry about using the proper zip extraction tool. Once extracted, you will see a videos folder, which just has all the video assets, a Windows application, a Mac DMG file, and an instructions PDF. The Windows and Mac applications share the same video assets folder, so just be sure to always keep these files and folders together. The instructions explain how to run the application on both Windows and Mac, so you shouldn't have to worry about anyone getting lost when you provide them with the files. It's pretty straightforward. Let's walk through those steps now. On Windows, it's as easy as double-clicking the executable file, which is the one with the Z icon. The first time it runs, you may receive a warning from Microsoft Defender about it being an unrecognized app. Just click More Info, then Run Anyway. That's it. There is no installation process. It just opens the collection. If you're on Mac, the process is similar to installing other apps. Many apps are provided in the DMG format, so Mac users should already be familiar with this process. You just double-click the DMG file to mount it. The mounted disk should then appear on your desktop with the Z icon. Double-click that icon to open the mounted disk, and this should open a window with the actual application inside of it. In order for the videos to load properly within the collection, we just need to make sure this application is in the same location as the videos folder. So we drag the application from this window into where the videos folder is located. These instructions are provided inside the window in case you aren't sure what to do. You only need to do this part once. Now, just double click the application that you just dragged over to launch it. You might see a prompt about it being downloaded from the internet, accept it by clicking open and that's it. The next time you open it, just use the application instead of the DMG file. Just a few notes about the offline collection. Only a single quality version is included in the export, which is the HD version. The 4K and SD versions are not included. Also, it only works on a computer, so don't expect to plug it into a TV and have the menu system work. For viewing on a smart TV, please use our TV apps for Apple, Android, and Amazon devices. I hope you enjoy this exciting feature.